So first thing you're gonna do is obviously go to the app. Then you're going to click my gallery. Here you're gonna click the plus button. It'll take you to this where you can choose your canvas size. They give you a bunch of options. You can even customize your own size. Uh, don't do this big, otherwise it's gonna lag so bad. I'm talking about worse than your brain when you're trying to solve what one plus one is, okay? Now let's say you want to import a picture, you can do that right here, import picture. If you cannot comprehend any of this, just pick 9 to 16 ratio. That's what I usually pick. And also don't worry if you chose the wrong canvas size because you can change it later on. So you're going to go to the brush here, choose canvas, and here you can change the size. Now obviously, everybody knows that if you want to draw an egg the must must picture, you also need an egg the must must reference from Pinterest. But it's always going to interfere with your drawing. But this is always going to hide one part of the canvas, right? So, how do we fix this problem? Well, I just figured it out, okay? So you go to this thing, click it. Now, the reference window, you turn it on, and then you go back to your canvas. Here, it showed a, um, hold on. <laughs> um, technical difficulties, everyone. So you're gonna click the picture what it will look like right there that's what it's gonna look like you can zoom in and everything even move it to whatever you want also i know some artists use like a grid we also have that here you can turn it on you can change the setting i don't know what this is doing but okay whatever that's doing you can change the color make them red yellow pink whatever you want you can also reset it if you don't like it but i don't want it on so i'm gonna turn it off I don't really draw that well digitally i think you can tell that from my previous digital arts not even joking like this is how i draw if i'm drawing like digitally this is a realistic portrait of what i draw you know and let me draw some things oh my god this is egg the must <laughs> okay for that i usually do my sketching on paper and then I trace over that. Click the layer button here. Here you see the photo thing. Click. I picked my reference. Here now you can resize it. You can also rotate it. I don't want to rotate, if I rot rot rotate it. Do whatever perspective thing you want. You don't need this to be honest for most of the art. This is what you look like in real life. Oh my god, brainless. I'm joking, obviously you have a brain. Is somewhere hiding don't worry and this is just our outline basically you know make it white as a right there i i'm gonna use it don't use it for like anything that you want color in also now let's say you forgot to resize it when you imported the picture you can click this readjust thing and you can also do that here now oh my god so, to just rotate and not resize it you can tap on this search thing and it won't rotate it i'm gonna be tracing over this we have to lower the capacity. i hope that's what it's pronounced like because otherwise i give up anyways this is how you lower it this button you just drag it however you want now you can add a layer by tapping here add as much as you want you can delete it by clicking delete layer oh my god no this is the undo and redo button by the way, I think that was pretty obvious, but I, I'll just tell you that, just so you know. You can also change the layer color thing here. Just keep it white, you don't need that, okay? Just keep it white. And you can add a layer, I'm gonna delete this layer. You can also rename that layer. Click this three dots, rename layer. This is gonna be the outline, so I'm gonna name it outline. Done! This is so you can flip the canvas, you can flip it upside down sometimes artists use for checking like if everything proportional pro 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 proportional right i'm not checking it because who cares right <laughs> i don't take any proportion it's like if it looks good it looks good i don't care it looks good so we also need some brush ups in brush i feel like i'm losing my ability to speak english again this is not good i need to speak more socialize more yeah no that's not happening so anyways we need some brushes okay so 
you click this button right here and here you have tons and ton of brush you can't access all of this by watching a video or purchasing them one time and having access to them forever but obviously i'm broke that's why i use this app what i do is i just watch the video every 18 hours but i watched that like at 12 am yesterday so i still have access to them and i can't show you what it looks like you can change customize it to your liking here whatever this does you don't need any of this to be honest just use the regular brush to be honest i have never done any of this <laughs> that's why all of my arts are so bad but okay you can reset it if you want if you customize it you can add it to your custom list and also you can browse online for new brushes wow very awesome are you kidding me and browse for any brushes you want and what you're gonna want to do is take a picture of these qr codes like let's say i want this one three dots and click import this import is completed so now that you have your brush where's my sketch here you can resize brush sizes usually stick to zero to five turn on stabilizer here Let's turn this is gonna be off turn it to like four maybe i don't see any difference what is going on this is normal right now if you put on force fade stabilizer this is what it looks like these are kind of faded as you can see and obviously you have your own opinion and your own choices but still use stabilizer because it's gonna make your drawings exponentially beautiful um now we want to do the outline all my things is deleted trust me i can spell do not worry about me i don't understand how i passed primary school okay so do not make your line art black i don't know why like most people i see does black or line art but then in the middle of the thing it just automatically changes color and i'm gonna show you guys how you can get a color you want you go to the color wheel right color wheel you move these two white circles around this is dark whiter yeah you can do a full rainbow if you know how to use this go ahead girl i don't know how to use that i'm not trying to you can also input hex code here and you can move this here to save the color very awesome yay we already have a palette color palette and we're too lazy to input the hex code what do we do then oh my god so i got the pictures you don't want to extract line drawing okay because there's color now you are going to click on it and hold it you can do that or you can also go here eyedropper click the color it will select it for you and you can save them if you don't sketch it on traditional art first you can do what most people do they make a circle of the head she has a humongous head just ignore that for now all the girls i draw have humongous heads draw a circle and turn it off there's others you can straight lines and everything i don't want that so off symmetry rule and you can draw the eyes that looks like a demon you just need this and this at most and this maybe so you click on brush the lasso tool here now you can select something so basically what it does is you're selecting something and it's gonna make changes to that specific thing that you selected so i'm just gonna select the eyes now sometimes it's hard to select like precisely what you want so for that you go to all the way up here you have selection layer and then you can use the brush tool selecting whatever you want precisely you can also make the brushes smaller and now you can make any changes you want to it for example like rotating it here you are so if you want to add selection you want to select something you go here but let's say you selected something by mistake you're gonna subtract this one and then you can subtract it so there are a few ways you can unselect something 
right uh, so here you have remove selection you can go here and remove selection here oh yeah these are a bunch of things that you can do for selecting layer i don't know what any of these does but yeah very fun right go to the selection layer and then remove selection those are the three ways you can do it can also duplicate this, duplicate layer, turn it like this, and do that. Drawing everything manually on digital art is very time consuming. Look at the hair, like it, it just looks like bananas. You know, like rotten bananas, That that's what it looks like. Because I spent like an hour trying to fix the hair, it's not fixing itself. And I don't know what to do. But we're going to ignore that part of the image. We're moving on to the sleeves. We're going to make like ruffles. If I find, um, let me see if I can find a brush for that. Please be a brush for this. Please. What? With this one, right? Make another layer, guys. Yes, in case I need, oh my gosh. That is intense. Int oh, that looks sexy but it's not going with the line go with the line bro oh my god bro this is why i hate digital art because you never like anything okay i'm gonna move it with the lasso tool later on because yes oh that looks sexy very yummy yeah you can um you know lower the occupacity of like how much you want to erase See, that's and that's full. I forgot what these are called. Color. I'm gonna decorate them with very much pretty less. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. So pretty. Whoever made this, thank you. I, I really appreciate you for making this. Really saved my life, man. Boom. We're done. See how easy that was? If I did that out manually, it would have taken me 30 minutes. Done in like 5 minutes. Boom. That's how you use those tools to your advantage. Don't feel like you have to draw everything out manually, okay? To use green tones, all you need to do is use a brush and color in the parts that you want to use the green tones in. It doesn't matter the color. And then you're going to go to the normal thing and then you're going to pick the screen tone that you want. You can go here and a lot of tracing edges. These are really helpful for like the hands and everything. Hair, you got eyes, bodies, poses. There's a ton of stuff you can do with this. Yeah, try to explore it. Fine, there's animals and everything. You can also favorite it. Let me see how you do that because I have no idea, bro. If you tap this button, you can add it to your favorites. Favorites is right here. And you can also remove them by tapping it again history you see whatever you used you can add text also you can just tap on it the text is gonna be on its own layer you cannot add anything else to it except text here very awesome <laughs> you can change the size you can change what color it is then you can change this i'm not sure what it oh okay so the outline you can change the outline make it as thick as you want very thick you can add a background. If you don't want this, you can simply go and just delete the layer. Very fun. So if you want to share your drawing with other people, what you have to do is you have to go here. And then you're going to say save as a PNG. If you want it to be transparent background, then you can save it as transparent PNG here. It's going to save to your camera roll and you can share it with other people. And also, if you want to uh, show the... Are you kidding? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> want to see this speed paint? What you have to do is go back to my gallery and then you'll tap this button right here and then it will show you this time. This is how fast you want it to be. This is slow. You want it to be infinity so it goes faster. If you want to upload it on an online gallery, you're first going to have to open an account. I 
what you want to do is let's say i want to upload this uh you have to pick a title for this i will say uh girl <laughs> drawing i don't have a better name than this i swear you can add a description of what the drawing is and now you can upload it right here yeah, you can read through all this if you want. And it's going to take a bit of time to upload it. Also, I just want to show you guys something. I learned this from Corrine. So I'm going to add duplicate layer. And then I'm going to add a filter to it. Noise. It makes it look so much better. Don't overdo it, okay? So I'm going to save that. 